Welcome to Three Men in a Blog. First Minister's Questions Review this um, Thursday, I think it's the 20th of September 2012. It, it feels, is. It feels more like November, to be honest with the weather we've been having this week. But it's felt like November all year, what are you talking about? Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> so today's performance is where we, we were missing Mr. Willie Rennie. Not that anybody noticed until oh, after oh, poor three Willie, lives. Poor wee Willie, yeah, yeah. And because we didn't have Willie Rennie, we had quite a few backbenchers. However, the main attraction, of course, was Joanne Lamont. Mm. I think we'll start off as we usually do with uh, Mr Norman Stewart. How, what did you reckon of today's performance? Well, uh, she surprised me. Well, she managed to she surprise She surprised you. me. The juice on question. And that was last year. That was all about Juice and um, Swinney had um, announced that Juice and were bringing, I think it was 5,000 jobs to Scotland. That's an awful lot of jobs. And then Juice and pulled out. Why did they pull out? Uh, I, I presume they got to build it somewhere else cheaper. Mm. So there was a big strash about it then. And Simon said at the time, well, look, you know, um, it's all about keeping commercial secrets and do we want to upset a company this size who maintained jobs in Scotland? I mean, well, they have a lot of other jobs in oh, Scotland. Yeah. But this. this was just new Is it jobs. Doosan? D O O S A N? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm not familiar with them. But, uh... but um, so you're not going to shit in your own nest by dropping them in it. Mm. And then she did, well, let's see, freedom of information. Again! Again! So she made her speech with a wee question at the end, and then she made another speech with a wee question at the end, and Salmon basically blew her out of the war. Again, statistically, it turns out that 14% uh, of all Can FOIs I? are from one Labour researcher. Who remains anonymous. anonymous. Who didn't want to be identified so, so much for freedom of information. I mean, you could because he wouldn't possibly work for Joanne Lamont, well, I was going to say, you could imagine uh, an FOI request from an employee of, a, of an NHS or any organisation that, that might want to be anonymous, but a Labour Party researcher, what is the point of being anonymous? Well, I mean, obviously, well, obviously, it's likely he's quite closely tied. Okay. So what about you then, Phil? What did you think of Joanne? Oh, well, it was again, she started off with some pathetic joke. And do you know what really annoys me through it? It's, and I'm sorry to use the expression uh, on fellow party members, but it's the cretins, the bad, silly schoolboys at the back. It's any excuse, they're banging the tables. Bang, bang, bang. They obviously haven't got anything else to do or another thought. But why doesn't Joanne actually do something original and talk about the economy and talk about policy? It's all about... What well, they don't have a policy at the moment. Well, they, they don't appear to have anything. It's the same old, same old came out again and it's um again that 14 percent again when you look at the figures but i mean there's obviously somebody in there whose job is to keep putting in these and see what they can do to feed their front bench um and also as well when they're talking about the complaints or and appeals about the foi um and it's sort of she was kind of leading on that this is all about the government all about the government as it turns out it's glasgow and who runs glasgow it's, got, it's, it's, it's FOI is it's council. about it's councils, towards councils, not yep. towards... And the majority will well, be from Glasgow. The Scottish government. Yeah, it's because it, it's, it's offshore companies, as they call it, these right. companies. No, which not they, quite. They, 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 arm, they call them arms. arms off, yeah, they're offshore. They're off the, the uh, council uh, body. They're called alios. That's yeah. the, that's they're off the council yeah. body, you know. Um, it's... I'm sorry, I find it profoundly depressing. I expect who was that? a lot more who from was the leader who was, of the opposition. Who was that corrupt Labour leader? Stephen Purcell, <laughs> who invented all these alios, he turned out to be a coke-sniffing friend of the... Gangsters. Gangsters, yeah. Well, that, I'm, I'm sorry, but it's not typecast. I know you come from that part of the woods. And what was that, Stuart, what was that, what was that phrase about? Apparently the Labour Party General Secretary in Scotland um, is swimming with the fishes. Colin <laughs> Smith. Oh, you've got Colin Smith and you've also well, got Rami uh, Okasha. I mean, they... Um, it's probably because maybe they might be a bit blunt about the... The shortcomings. I know they're trying to blame. You mean Ram, they're trying to blame Rami? Apparently, but for... there's a fight inside Labour. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, there's nothing new. Do you there. know anything about this uh, personally? I think they're trying to blame Rami for the 
absolute balls up they made uh, when they only got 25% of the last election. It wasn't a poor performance and a totally negative performance but, but he, on the front bench. It was obviously all Rammy's But he, he ran a successful campaigns at either end. I mean, you've oh, got no, no, to no, call Glasgow. Don't talk about you've that. You've got to call Glasgow a success. So the last campaign he ran... He managed to keep Glasgow in success. the control of the Labour Party. And the, the I, I'm sympathetic to the view that Lamont, uh, Lamont has to get the, the at least perception that the Labour Party is now a Scottish Labour Party. And as you were saying to me earlier, the idea that these guys were actually London driven, yeah. employed by London, gets rid of them. The problem is, is the quality in the Scottish Party there to actually run an effective Labour yeah. Party in Scotland. They could add, well, well, one thing she could do, because it's all about unionist, 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 so that they're, they're, they're dissing the people from the unionist headquarters, i.e. London, um, which is why we're suspending them. And yet they're actually going at, uh, they're not taking a Scottish perspective. It's all you're getting from Labour, from that no, from the better together, better no, together. Not, you're all useless. You could be taking I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Phil, they're not taking any perspective. No, they aren't really. All no. she does at PM, uh, FNQ is, is slag Alex Salmon. Yep, yeah, it's boring. Well, she doesn't it. slag the SNP. No, it's just Alex Salmon. She doesn't slag independence. She slags Alex Salmon. And he hits her back straight into... And he gives her a kick in week in Every camp. time. She at, one learn. Point will she, at what, what point will she learn that she isn't winning this one? At one point, actually, when if, if you think about it, really, when, when are the Scottish Labour Party going to realise... She's not up to the job. They really need somebody, but their their main problem. There are people in there that can do it. Uh, I'm sorry, she just cannot do it. When you sit there, when she can't even, if she's meant to fill these things in a heartfelt way, if you watch Salmon when he's doing it, and quite a lot of them, he looks at the camera, he looks at people, what well, he, he actually looks. She's got a head glued to the table because she can't even remember what she's meant to be saying. She's meant to actually be formulating that, and I'm sorry, it just isn't on. Okay then, right now let's move on to Ruth. Ruth Davidson, she went not on FOI as well. No, right? Frankly, I find it extraordinary. <laughs> minute somebody says frankly, <laughs> honestly. Who is this guy? Take my, take my word for it. Who is this guy? Frankly? Okay, let's hear the push and then back it up. The secret society. It was crap. Yeah, crap. It was crap. It was garbage. The question had been answered and she just kept pushing it. I actually thought the next... She pushed the yeah. angle of the money yeah. that it's costing to go to court to argue about the um, FOIs. Okay, 100,000 she's reckoning. 200,000 on the two cases that she knows about, right, in the scheme of things. But isn't the commissioner taking them well, to go to court as well? That's an argument to have all lawyers get their wages half. As far as I'm concerned, that's a bit. That's a good one. Well, we'll yeah. take a Shakespearean view on that and what we do to all the lawyers. But never mind. That you can't do that. Anyway. So, what did you think about uh, of Ruth then, Phil? Not really impressed. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm not really impressed when you listen to the hypocrisy of Tories. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. They, they they I mean, they sit and actually try and. Uh, I mean, there was the other one as well. The the previous one came in. You know, just. Look what's happening, look what's happening. No, it's not. I'm sorry, they're just Tories. That was Annabelle Gould. Annabelle Gould had a go. When did she have a go at Well, oh, apparently some, some, some minion. In there was a few in, in Scottish in Enterprise. One, Scottish Enterprise. one, one oh, right. had you, taken we... about £7,000, had used their card, had done it. I, I think it was around 10000 in total. But then, surprise, surprise, we have audits and they found it. And they got it back. So it's a non-story. What I found actually was interesting was the one from Liam MacDonald and David Stewart. Liam MacDonald was about the, the grid in Orkney, and then you had the one from the fuel uh, with David fuel Stewart. Shortage. You know, with the fuel shortage, the grid shortage and everything else, all done by private companies who probably aren't responsible for Scottish or anything else. Classic, classic case for someone wants to do it now. I mean, if he wants to get their votes, nationalise these companies, because then you actually look after the people and not a bunch of Tory and New Labour Okay, then. well let's come back to uh, performance. What about Salmond himself this week? Good. Good this week. Yeah, he was really good. He, he, I mean, he looked good. Uh, well, it, it wasn't, wasn't how he looked, it was how he made 
Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, look, did you see the oh. look on her face when he threw that 14% from the Labour research in it? Or the, the bit about her countenance. Him? Her countenance. He didn't, he didn't mention the word coupon, but you wanted to go Scottish oh. and say you should have seen her coupon. Yeah, I know. I mean, sorry, she, does she not learn? But oh, yeah, again, he was. I mean, I don't like giving any. But, I mean, yeah, he did actually classic. I still wouldn't give him the full marks, but. Because you could always do better. Uh, no, I, I think he I did believe. well. I mean, yeah, I think he, he does well. exasperate it quite well. He does the, I'm actually sick of telling you I'm not allowed to do this. You know? But it wasn't even exasperated this time. It was like exasperated, you can sell. It was like, who are the numpties? You know, like spot the numpty. But that's what was, he was doing. That was, was another classic from Joanne Leonard. She got up and what was her joke? If the ministerial code allows, perhaps Mr. Yeah. Salmon could answer this question. And you're like... Oh, so you actually know what his answer is going to be. Why are you bothering? Because you can't think you know. of anything else. There was also when they were trying to... Well, you got that with um, Simpson, you know. Uh, Richard Simpson, Dr. Simpson. Simpson. Oh, yeah. and, and they were doing that with... Uh, again, part quoting um, from the Royal College of Nurses and all that. Part quoting again, you know. It's, it's not this... It's lying by omission, you know. Um, just again, scaremongering. Well, well, can I point out with, to what not, neither of you have mentioned is, it would appear there seems to be some kind of collusion between the Labour and the Tories. They Never. Would have, let me finish. They, they both went on the FOIs, yeah. and then because there was no Willie Rennie, there were more backbench questions, and both parties went on the NHS numbers. Yeah. Nanette, what's her face? She's a Tory from the North East. Yes. So, the, so we had, to, we had, we had a, what, what would appear you're to be to national health. You're a Tory. What you complain about? I know. <laughs> but, it, but, but what strikes me as is, is, is very interesting is the fact that they're working closely together in Hollywood. Well, not. I mean, for, in the past, Ruth Davison has had her own question. Willie Rennie wasn't up to date. He is the one that usually has the the repeat of the Labour question. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, he's the one that we keep complaining about, can he get his own questions mm -hmm. sorted out. So it's unusual for Ruth to do it. But you might have a point there. Cause it, I mean, there are two key issues for FOIs and the NHS numbers. And both Tories and Labour Party both had more than one question on that. They had uh, Joanne Lamont and Richard Bacon, mm -hmm. Richard Simpson. Oh, and we had Ruth Davidson and uh, Nanette Milne. And now, it's obvious, really. The, the answer is obvious. It has been quoted, and I think it was Davidson or some of his gang, that actually having a Tory government in the UK is more preferable to having an independent SNP led Scotland up here. I'm it, sorry. His argument was that it was healthy for democracy yeah. that the Tories had power. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I'm sorry. In bed, collusion. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Sorry, it, uh, Labour has completely lost its way. It's obsessed with all of them. They're all dying to get in there to. Airman, Airman, Airman. Airman, the lot, you know. Sorry, yeah. I, I don't want to go into a rant. Let's have a score, then uh, let's try it. Start with 12. Scores for um, the three of them that's Joanne, Ruth, and Alex. Oh, well, Joanne was, I mean, I, I felt out a lordly last week, I'd give a five, but sorry, this week was just uh, especially jokes. I'll give a three, uh, I'll give two to uh, Ruthie Babe to Ruth and Sam and I'll, yeah I'll give him another nine again because it was just uh, it was actually good to watch it was a walk in the park for a moment really it was, it was. that's what happens when Nori? the government does the right thing uh, Nori? Lamont well I really think they should get the electrodes off her so oh. she's not shocked every time Salmon's name's mentioned uh, no I'm, I'm actually giving her a zero um, I'm getting really bored with it not interested in what she says. She just, she can't be original. She comes up with no it's answers. At least Ruth Davidson will get up knowing the answer, so there's an outside chance she might catch Sam and Dave. Mm. I'll give Davidson three this week because repeating the question is a waste of space as far as I'm concerned, mm. especially when Salmon's got all the answers at his fingertips. Stupid. Willie Rennie, Rennie gets an eight for not being there at all. <laughs> Alex Salmon, I've got to give him a nine, but once again, different league. I think I'm, I'm going to come back with Alex. Yes, I mean, he was absolutely master of his brief today. Made no 
No, he gave no, took no prisoners. 9.5, you know, he's almost perfect because there was no, couldn't go wrong. Ruth, I agree with you. What does she deserve for that? Following, it's just showing how, she, she look, the Tories want to be seen to be lining up with Labour. Mm. It's the Labour Party that, should, that really need to be careful. So, um, Ruth, well, the fact that she actually, you say it's the same question. On the other hand, it, it's probably quite good for the Tories in Scotland to be seen shoulder to shoulder with Labour. So I'll give her a four. Oh, Joanne. I think, unless she actually, it's more what she's doing outside Holyrood. It's getting a grip on the party in Scotland that she'll be judged by. Not her, not her performances in the chamber. And right now, her performances are a bit iffy. So, yeah, I give her a three. Yeah. Been far too generous with it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, well, well thanks very much, guys. And uh, tune in next week and we'll have a report on uh, the march. Don't forget, march on Saturday. Weather forecast good. Loads of buses. Going to be a lot of fun. See you there. 11 o'clock at the Meadows. And look out for the banner. Look out for this banner. We'll be walking with it, I hope. Have a blather <laughs> with us. Thanks very much. Goodbye.